All right, so we got that here. Now we're basically ready to start tracking up our scene here. Again, I like to just do the Ian Herbert slash CG Matter technique on this. I just modified both of their the knowledge from them and made this kind of into my own style. I like to go up here, select blurry footage, even though it's not. Then I come in here, select the model to perspective. For this case, because we're going to be looking slightly down at a perspective. Uh, there is parallax. We are moving, moving forward. We are moving to the side, so we won't need to do a tripod, a tripod, tripod mode. So I'm going to switch this to normalize. It's going to normalize the light on our trackers. And then I'm going to go down to track extra settings, set the correlation to 0 0.9. And we're just going to make this as easy as possible here. Now we're going to go detect features. OK, and then what we're going to do is track forward and you can press this little button here but i like to just press control t on the keyboard it's a lot quicker for me control t and now we start the tracking process we're going to basically do this from the beginning track forward go to the end of the clip track backwards go to the middle of the clip track forward go to the middle of the clip track backwards and a lot of times i can get away with just doing that I think we will need to add some more trackers in here, though. We're losing a lot of tracks, but we'll see how it goes. OK, now it is finished. Double tap A, deselects everything. Or you could actually just press A, H, and then hide those trackers. And then again, we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to go to detect features. But this time, I'm going to add in a little bit more. I'm going to go back to distance. And I'm going to drag to the left. Ooh, not too much. I want to drag to the left. Let's maybe like say, yeah, let's go 100 just to add in a little bit more trackers there. And I'm going to go ahead and press control shift T. That's going to track backwards. All right. So we finished that. And then, like I said, we go back here in the middle. Let's go ahead and hit a H to hide those tracks. I'm going to go into the middle and repeat the same process. I'm going to go detect features and then I'm going to track forward, go back to the middle and then track backwards. All right, so I've completed all the tracking. I went forward, back, middle, forward, middle, back. Now I'm going to go ahead and press A, Alt, H. That's going to unhide all of our tracks. Now we're going to do the solve. Now let's try to get the solve here. We don't know, or I'm just kind of saying we don't know our camera data. We don't know our camera size and sensor and all that. So, so it's not a big deal. Blender will figure that out for us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to the solve tab. I'm going to click focal, optical, and radio. And I'm going to say kind of like like somewhere around 170 I'm gonna go 170 to like oh that shows like i mean that's good parallax right there to 170 to like 270 we'll go 270 right depending on what your footage is finding the most parallax in the shot would be a good range to let it know or you can just go keyframe automatic but i, I know the, where the parallax is so i'm trying to just kind of give it as much as information as possible to help it out so with that being said that's pretty much it right now, what I will do here quickly, I got a couple of tracks here. I see that are not even like in the same ballpark, right? These ones here are like way off. I'm going to go ahead and delete those right now. I'm going to click on it, press X, delete. Click on this one here, press X, delete, right? Because I just know those are going to be problematic. Same here, X, delete. And those are just some rogue trackers here. Even this one here, I'm going to delete that. And then click another one, delete that. And I might even delete these few stragglers here. Hey guys, if you're interested in the full video, take a look at this one here. And if you're interested in the full course, take a look at this link here.